guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be another makeup tutorial and I believe this is one of the first makeup tutorials where I will be giving you two lip options I don't know why but today I wanted to give you two options in case one was not up your alley so the options that I am giving you guys and I just want to show you these lip uh, lipsticks or whatever they are because they are both amazing the first option is going to be using the mattes ulta lip cream in the color tender this is more of a nude pinkish color and it dries to a complete matte and then the second one is going to be what I'm wearing on my lips right now this is Oh, it's such a pretty color. This is called Tootsie by Colourpop um, Cosmetics and it is so pretty. It's a really nice like cool brown. It kind of reminds me a lot of Cashmere by Lime Crime. So maybe this could be a dupe for some of you that don't want to purchase from Lime Crime anymore. Um, so yeah, this is the second option. Again, this is what I'm wearing on my lips and this is what I like better than this one. Personal choice. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, then don't forget to give me a thumbs up and let me know what other videos you guys would like to see. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye! First, I'm starting with my next eyeshadow base in the color Skin Tone as usual. I will be applying this with a synthetic brush on my lids. This is just going to help prevent creasing and it also just helps the application of the eyeshadow go on a lot smoother. Next, I'm going to take any eyeshadow that you have. I chose a vanilla shade and I just place this on top of that base to prevent any creasing and this will help with blending as well. Next, I'm going to take the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Favorites palette. I'm going to go with that top orangey shade at the very top, the matte one. I'm going to start with a fluffy brush and I will be applying this to the upper crease. This is going to help blend all the colors together and it's going to give it a really nice gradient effect. Make sure to take your time when you're applying these eyeshadows just because we want to make sure that everything is nice and blended as we go so we don't have to go back and do too much blending or spend extra time so just take it slowly. Next I'm going to take this brownish maroon color and I will be applying that to the crease directly with a more thinner brush and I'm also going to be applying that to the very outer corner of the eye. This is going to smoke it out and it's going to give it a really nice smoke effects which is what I kind of was going for with this green look so just go ahead and apply it it's really pigmented so take your time when you are blending it start slowly and then start building up the colors I do take my Sigma E40 brush and I start blending all the colors together again just so we can get a nice gradient effects and then I just start doing the same process to the other eye Next, I'm going to go in with that green shade at the very, very bottom, as you can see. I do like to apply this with my fingers because I feel like I got the most pigmentation out of that eyeshadow with my fingers, but feel free to use whatever you have. So I'm going to just dab that on to the center of the lid just to give it a really nice pop of green. And as you can see, I just go back and forth and reapply the color just to intensify 
uh, the pigmentation and just give it a little bit more life and I love this color it's one of my favorites from the palettes then I go back to that brownish maroon color and I start blending everything else you want to go back several times and reapply the colors just to make sure that everything is bright and everything is nice and blended so I just go back and reblend all the colors Now I'm going to take a shimmery shade and I forgot to take a clip but I used the top shade at the very beginning of the palette and I applied that as a highlight to my brow bone. This just gives it a little bit of more of an extra pop. I'm going to move on to the face and I'm going to use the Benefit Professional just to fill in any pores that I may have since I do have oily skin. This is pretty much a must for me and I have to take this step. So I like to take that all over my face and then push it into my skin so it can really just cover up any pores that I may have on my skin. Next I'm going to take my Estee Lauder foundation. I'm going to take in the color um, Cashew and the color Tawny. That's like my perfect shade because Cashew gives me a little bit more of an orangey appearance. So when I mix these two together I feel like I get that perfect combination. This is definitely a full coverage foundation. I like to use my beauty blender because I feel like it gives me more of a dewy finish. And yeah, I love this foundation. I do have a full review on it. If you guys are interested in that video, I will have it linked down below. Next, I'm going to take my MAC Pro Longwear. I am in the color NC30. And again, I'm just taking that with my Beauty Blender and I'm going to take it underneath my eyes to the middle of my forehead, um, down the bridge of my nose as well as on my chin. And I will just start blending that out. I like to really just bounce it on my face because I feel like the product looks a lot smoother when I do that. And plus, the Beauty Blender helps absorb any extra products that you may have added. Now I'm going to go in with my NYX Highlight and Contour Palette and I will be taking the Banana Shade and I will be setting my concealer to prevent any creasing. This is also going to help our concealer look a lot brighter. With that same palette, I'm going to go in with this e.l.f. contour brush, which I also have a review on. And I'm going to start uh, chiseling out the hollows of my cheekbones, just so I can get a really defined contour. If you want something super, super contoured, I highly suggest this brush because it gets right in there. And then I'm going to go in with my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in the color Deep, and I'm going to use this to bronze up my face. Um, I don't necessarily like that contour brush to blend out because it's a little bit stiff so just blend it or use it to contour and then use a different brush to blend everything out and this is just going to give a little bit more warmth to the face. Now I'm going to go with the BH Cosmetics Bronzer and this is the color Siren and I will be applying that on top of the bronzer because I'm not doing blush. I just wanted a really nice bronzy look for this specific eye makeup so I'm just going to apply that on top of the bronzer and I'm going to move on to highlights. This is the Makeup Forever Sculpting Duo number 2 and I'm going to be applying that highlight which is 
my obsession right now. It's what I've been wearing non-stop to the highest points of my cheekbones so I can get a really nice luminous type of look on my eyes. Now I'm going to move on to the under eye. I like to skip this till the very end um, because I like to see how my face looks and how dramatic I'm going to do this. I am bringing this pretty far down so it can be really smoky and I do, I do take that brownish burgundy maroonish color in that same Morphe Jaclyn Hill uh, palettes. So for the first time I'm actually using some bottom lashes. These are by House of Lashes in the, in the style Precious. As you can see them here they're so pretty. Let me know if you guys want a tutorial on how to apply bottom lashes. But this is the first lip option. This is an Ulta Matte Lip Cream. This is in the color Tender. So this is what the first lip looks like. Now, the second lip option that I wanted to give you guys is going to be more of a taupey brown color. I like this a little bit more than the other one, but again, it depends on what you like. This is Tootsie by ColourPop Cosmetics. It's a really nice color. I really, really like it, and it does have a little bit of a matte finish. So that is the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, I will talk to you soon. Bye!